Peace be unto you. Welcome back to the Dean Show with Sheikh Hussein Yi. And now, you didn't get a hold of the Quran, which is the verbatim word of God. No. Now, let's just take a side note. This is wrong, isn't it? Because we as Muslims, we need to be sharing the Quran, the meaning at least, with the people. Did they have the meaning, the translation of the Quran back they, then? They, they do have. They do have. But they were still holding off? Yeah, because they were, they were taught to believe that this holy book of the Muslim, the Quran, is only for Muslims. And, and no Muslim have the right to touch, even to touch it. So that's what they were taught. What do you say about this? Of course, before I don't have any comment, I, yeah. I don't know what is the real teaching of, Jesus, of Islam. But later on, when I came to Islam, I found that it's very wrong for wrong. them to do that. Yeah. Because Allah Himself confirmed in His book, in the Quran, Shahr Ramadan, Allazi unzila fi al Quran, Huda linasi wa bayinati min al Huda wa furqan. In the month of Ramadan, Allah revealed this book as a divine guidance for mankind. Mankind, not just the Arab, not, the Arab or not the just the Chinese, or the, Turks, or the white, or, or the black, for everybody. For everybody. Can you see how beautiful the book of Allah is? That this divine guidance of Allah is for humanity, for mankind. Yes. And it's very sad that the Muslims have failed yeah, to act upon this ayah. Yeah. They thought that this book only ours book. Our yeah. you can have now you have nothing to do with we this. We get stingy now. Yeah, I got stingy. You gotta share. Oh. Sharing is carrot. So now you don't get a hold of the verbatim word of God, the Quran, but you get a hold of another piece of Islamic literature or something. Yes. What happens here? Alhamdulillah after a read and then it's Allah's hidayah, of course. Now, you said two Arabic words, so they don't think, the not yet Muslims, they don't think we're saying some code words here. Yeah. You said Alhamdulillah <laughs> yes, and hidayah. What do you say? Yeah. Alhamdulillah means all praise to Allah for the guidance Allah given me. Hidayah is guidance. And you said Allah. They yes. might think it's a moon god. No. Who's no. Allah? Allah is a creator. Yeah, he is a god to everything. Okay, so yeah. this is not the sun or the moon, no, but no, the creator no. of the sun yeah, and the moon. Yeah, creator of the sun Okay, the good. Moon. Sorry, yeah. please go ahead. So when I read the life history of Omar, who was once the enemy of Islam, you know, he is known for his, his bravery, you know, and then uh, he have determined, he was so determined to kill the Prophet. This is a man Omar. who you're reading this book, yes. Omar. He's the companion Omar. of the Prophet. He was an enemy to Islam before. Yes, yes, of okay. course. And later on, uh, he was exposed to the, the, the Quran, and uh, he heard the recitation of Surah Toha by his brother-in-law, and Allah gave hidayah, and then he became a Muslim. Wow, so this is an enemy of Islam. Like many people now, they don't know Islam, yes. so maybe just because they're following what the media is saying, no. so now they're having this hatred, enmity. He was one of those people, yes. but then when he came to the Quran himself, Allah the verbatim Allah. word of God, he got guidance, he, he got, got enlightenment, guidance. and he accepted Islam. He accepted Islam. So you read this story, and what yes. happened? Yes, then I say, oh, this Quran must be very powerful. So if this Quran can change this man, I think this Quran can change me. Wow. You see? I, I, I have that kind of feeling now. Yes. I see, and then I started to learn more about what, the, uh, what Omar is you know, starting to become the Caliph, the second Caliph, the Tawheed in Omar, how he was taught by Prophet Muhammad to believe in one God. One. One, just one. No God. buts after that. No. Just one. Leave just it alone. La sharika. Don't play with it. No. One. One. And that's because of that, Omar was given the title by the Prophet Al-Farooq, a man who really distinguished the true, the right, and the wrong. From distinguishing right yeah. and wrong, Farooq. No playing anymore. Yeah. He's a man of his word, to the extent that the Prophet said, wherever Omar moved, every place that he walked, the Satan will run away. Yes because the burning flame of Iman in him. A man that will not compromise, will not tolerate with any form of shirk. No setting up partners with God no. whatsoever. Allah God, Allah. God alone worship just him. So, so yeah, when I look at his uh -huh. lifestyle, I say, Allah is so simple. It's so straightforward. And it's so easy for you to accept that God cannot be like any one of us. No? And God cannot. Yeah, be, be, be a form of anything, but he's by himself. 
Like what Allah said, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Say Allah is what? Allahu samad. Everything depends on him. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Neither he is a father to anybody or child to anybody. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Nothing is equal to him. You, got, you have children, if you don't mind me asking? Yes, of course. And, and you have sons? I have sons. Daughters? Yes. But now God doesn't have any of these similarities? No. no, no. 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 But Allah you believed this before, didn't you, as a Christian, that God had a son? Yes. Okay. So That's he, what we were taught. Yeah. But of course, it, 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 it makes you think for a while. Uh -huh. Are you sure, you know, can a, 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 a God be a son to somebody? and then he become the father himself. Because you're looking at your son, he's going to grow up to have the qualities like his father. Yes. But then did you think sometimes, well, that's, going to, that's two gods then, isn't it? They're sure to have two. Yeah. And I, of course, it's not easy. It's confusing. I'm, let's not, because we're going to get yeah. confused and confuse yeah. everybody. Allah. So you get unconfused, and you come into Islam, which is simply the call to acquire peace by submitting to the one God. The one God. So what happens now? The more I learn about Islam, the more I read the Quran, la raiba fihi, there is the end. That means there's no doubt that Quran is the truth. It's simple? It's simple. Rational? Rational. All your questions are answered? Us. Purpose of life? Alhamdulillah. Where are you going when you die? Everything is clear. It's clear. No it's ambiguity. Clear. Dunya, akhirah. Not only talk about your relation with God, but also about your relation with this world, with the environment with the people around you. It's beautiful. That's why we believe now uh -huh. that everybody who still don't understand Islam and hate the Muslim, if they hate the Muslim because they look at the Muslim who show good, bad example, of course, there is their right to hate anything that is bad. But we hope that they are just to themselves. Just open the Quran. Just read. Read. Yeah, with, with an open heart and open with mind. An open heart, and then be a judge to yourself. You be your own judge. We are not here to judge anybody. We are here to share with them. To tell them that this holy divine book of Allah, al quranul Karim, is for them. So we hope that they will read with an open mind, open heart. Then they will understand. Yeah. Are we Muslim here to promote hatred? No. Are we here to terrorize people? No. Are we here to kill? No. no. We are here to save humanity. We are here to share with them. We are calling them day and we are praying for them by night. May Allah open their heart. Amen. And I'm sure if people who start to open the Quran, don't just Islam through the people, please. You get confused. That's why when I talk to my family members, my siblings who are not yet Muslim, if you say the Muslim are bad, I have no comment. Maybe sometimes you'll find bad Muslim, like you have bad Christian, bad Buddhist, bad this, bad. You have bad and ugly everywhere. If they say Muslim are bad, I have no comment. But if they say Islam is bad, I will not allow that to happen. Yeah. Because it's not right for them to comment about Islam when they do not know anything about Islam. So I will say, please, read the book of Allah. Islam is not Muslim. Muslim is the people. Islam is the teaching. And, and, and people make mistakes. People can make mistakes. Yeah, yeah, but Islam is perfect. Islam is perfect. It's from the Allah Creator. Allah. Let's take a break there. We'll be right back here on The Dean Show.